Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant welcome back to my channel today is part one of my fall clean and decorate with me series as you can imagine i am so excited to decorate for fall if you've been around a while then you know fall is my favorite season and i absolutely love everything about it the decorating pumpkin spice lattes halloween i just i'm so so excited Normally, I don't start in my living room with my decorating, but I was really excited to get all the fall decor out that I was like, I'm gonna do my favorite room first. I filmed this over multiple days, so you're gonna see many different outfits kind of just in the video. I just edited together all the different clips for the different parts of the living room. I'm also filming all of my intros for all three parts of my fall cleaning and decorating, so you'll see this outfit in three different videos. This year I didn't do a fall decor haul but I will tell you where everything is from as I'm decorating if it's new this year. If you want to see where I got my stuff from last year then I will link my videos down below so you can go ahead and watch my decor haul and my decorating for last year. As I'm filming this intro it's actually the first day of Starbucks pumpkin drinks and of course I can't go because it is storming outside if you can hear rain or you hear thunder at all. It's storming, so my plans to go get a pumpkin spice cold brew or latte have just literally been rained on. Tilly's a little upset too because she was going to get a puppuccino, but we'll see if it stops raining so we can get one. If not, we'll go tomorrow, but I was all dressed and ready and in the fall mood to have my pumpkin drink. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my other fall decorating videos as well as the Christmas content that will be here before you know it. I'm on a journey to 500 subscribers, so that would greatly help my channel. Eventually, I would like to reach 1,000, but my first goal is 500. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video, and I hope you enjoy it. leaves are playing chases Puts a smile up on my face the first thing I'm doing in here to make it more cozy is I am putting a new coffee table together. I am just over the white coffee table, the round shape of it, and I wanted something new and something more my style. Now that I'm getting more into what my style is, I don't even know what to call it, but I have a style, I just, I don't know if it has a name. So the coffee table I chose is from the Hearth and Handline by Joanna Gaines at Target. And I'm absolutely in love with it. It adds so much warmth to this space and wait until you see it with my fall decor. It is so beautiful together. I love it. It's one by one and whirl around there just for fun. Since I was a little child Every year for as long as I remember All the leaves were running wild Going all the way until November Turn the Before I start decorating, I wanted to show you everything I'm working with. Holy moly, here's the old coffee table with all my fall stuff on top of it. And then I have more up here on the bar area. 
and I actually don't end up using all of this stuff. So I'm really trying to be more intentional with what I buy and make sure I absolutely love it and will use it in the future. So I'm not saying in next year's fall video, like, I don't really like this. I don't want to use it anymore. I'm trying to cut back on what I buy from the dollar spot because I find that a lot of the times I'm getting it because it's just hyped up by everyone and not because I actually love it. So I'm really making sure I'm only buying stuff that I love. Look how dirty this side table is, by the way. It really needed to be wiped down and dusted. So right now I'm cleaning up in the living room, getting it all ready for the new decorations. And then I'll go ahead and get started with the cozy fall decor. Of course, I had to use my Mrs. Myers apple cider surface cleaner. I saved my fall stuff from last year. I didn't run out of it, so I saved it. I didn't finish using it so I could pull it out this year without buying a whole new set or having to wait for it to come out. But I did just buy the spiced acorn because I'm almost out of that surface cleaner, so we'll see if that smells as good as the apple cider. When the autumn leaves are playing chasing puts a smile up on my face. I'm just vacuuming up, getting the floor all cleaned, and then I'll start decorating over here before I clean the other side of the living room. I wonder where they go in the flight of swallows sailing through the sky. There's no way you'll know when, but maybe someplace far from you and I. I'm starting off on this couch like I always do. This blanket is from the Fall Studio McGee line this year. It is so cozy. Yes, I actually use it. I love it. It's a chunky knit blanket and I just wanted to get a neutral color because then I can use it for Christmas as well. I will link everything that I can down below from this year. My throw pillows are also Studio McGee. I absolutely fell in love with these pillows. I love the green color so I tried to get some green in my other decor to really pull it together and then this it says brown but it looks orange to me like a burnt orange or brown orange pillow this is studio mcgee and this little pumpkin pillow is from home goods from the cupcakes and cashmere line Branches, one by one and whirl around there just for fun on this side, I am going to put just one blanket and one pumpkin pillow. I didn't want to go too crazy with the pillows over here because when we leave Tilly, we have to put the couch cover on the other couch so she can lay up there and we have to move those pillows over here and then it's just a pillow mess. So I decided not to put pillows over here, which is crazy for me, right? I love pillows. So I'm going to actually change this blanket out. I just wanted to see how it looked, but I knew I had something in mind and it was another Studio McGee blanket right here. This is another day. It's nighttime, um, but I love this blanket. I love the two different colors so that it brightens it up, but you still have the like brown orange tone in it as well. And then I'm going to put a nice little pumpkin on top. Some are faster, some are slow, and some are high, and some are low. Dancing through the last days of September. When the autumn leaves are playing, chase it, puts a smile up on my face. They leave their branches one by one, and whirl. I had a little bit of a hard time deciding what I wanted to do on the coffee table. I loved those three pumpkins because it matched the couch, but I felt like it was too much green and orange and it didn't pull in the like burgundy color that I have. 
going on in spoiler alert the dining room so i wanted to really pull that color in as well i also didn't know what to do because i didn't want to use my old tray because it's a dark color and i didn't want dark on dark I was gonna get another table runner that's like a cream color to put the dark tray on but then I didn't like the table runner and I kind of just wanted to show off this beautiful coffee table without a table runner so you'll see what I came up with it's I feel like it's very high-end looking I see all these people decorating their coffee tables like this with like a nice vase of flowers and coffee table books and just it's not in the center and it's not on a tray which it was hard for me to not have everything centered on a tray without making it look just random but i love how it turns out let me know what you think in the comments down below Just to give you a rundown of where everything is from, that vase is from my master bedroom transformation. If you didn't watch that, I'll leave it linked down below. And then all of these florals I had already, some are from my master bedroom transformation. Um, the hydrangeas are from Hobby Lobby this year, and then the rest of them I had from before. So make sure you watch my fall decor haul from last year. And then the homebody book is from the Hearth and Handline. I already had that. You can buy it from Target. And the F. Scott Fitzgerald book I actually thrifted a long time ago, and I just thought the colors looked really nice with what I was going with on the coffee table. The candle, the white pumpkin candle, is from Home Goods this year. It smells amazing amazing the glass pumpkin canister is from the dollar spot guys if you haven't seen that yet go look for one they're only five dollars and they're like a mini version of the bigger ones they had last year and they brought back this year and they were ten dollars i bought two of the small ones you're gonna see it again in the kitchen in one of my next fall videos <laughs> Moving over to my blanket ladder, I'm taking off these um, Barefoot Dreams dupes so I can put a more neutral blanket and then a fall blanket up here. I'm also going to add a fall garland and I'm going to try to mix it with the green to kind of keep some of the green in, but I end up not liking it because it's just too much together. So I will in the end show you that I just have the one like burgundy orange garland and take the green one off. If I could hear my father's voice, he would tell me to move on. I also thought I wanted to keep my florals that I used for summer here because they are a very neutral color and they actually are like a cream and it kind of reminded me of fall and I was like, oh, I'll just carry those over into the fall season. No, wrong. I end up changing it out for some fall picks. One of them is new from the Hearth and Hand line this year, so I'll make sure I link that down below and then one of them is a hearth and hand pick from last year which they are not selling again this year so i don't believe i can link that down below but if i can i will so that's what this is um, right here they are just bundled together and then i also use these hearth and hand like cream berry picks that were from their summer line i added them in i thought they were very fall by the way that was me watching twilight because i have twilight on as i'm doing this decorating so i really like how this turned out the florals over here and it tied in that burgundy color that i was talking about earlier be just fine. yeah he would tell me we have time time to laugh and time to heal a favorite song is on repeat 
drinking wine until the dawn. Knowing soon we'll be back home. Ooh, I'm thinking about. I just kept this blanket basket really simple. I didn't want to put pillows on here this time because it makes it hard to use the blankets that are in here so I don't put pillows. And actually, spoiler alert, this won't even be here in my fall home tour because I may or may not have gotten the matching side table for the coffee table. Now it's time to clean this side of the living room. No, I couldn't wait to start decorating to just clean it all. So I did this on a totally different night, as you can tell by my outfit change. So I'm just going to wipe everything down, get all the dust off, make it smell like apple cider, and we'll get to the decorating. I apologize for the lighting being funky in these next couple of clips. I think it's because of the movie, but let me know in the comments. Are you team Edward or are you team Jacob? This is a very, very important question. I am team Edward. I always have been. But back to decorating. I'm not trying to keep it exactly the same on both sides. I just kind of want them to be like sisters or cousins. I want it to have similar feels and similar textures and colors but not exactly the same. So over on this side I am putting my black vases with orange green and maroon picks and then a very neutral pumpkin and then I'm gonna have my Lord of the Rings books that have some nice fall colors and some wood corbels to hold them up. Then you'll see on the other side, I kind of tried to match this feeling and the colors and the tones. I have these wooden letters, E and J for Ethan and Jess. And then underneath that, I have the orange, green, and cream colored pumpkins that I tried on the coffee table to match the colors of the books. I actually didn't know what to put on the left side to match these pumpkins and I was like oh my goodness these books have the same colors and are very similar so I will use those and then on the third shelf I'm just putting a plant I like this eucalyptus plant I bought a second one from Target I can link that down below and then a picture frame and a Target dollar spot sign will go on the other side. I'm so bad at remembering to say where stuff is from. I think the only new thing is the neutral wooden pumpkin on the left side was from Hobby Lobby. And then the green pumpkin on the right shelf is from the Target dollar spot, which I can't link because that stuff is no longer um, sold online. The black fall sign is from the dollar spot as well and then the eucalyptus plant is new. I had one of them but I bought the second one for fall because I thought it was a nice muted green. Those are all new and then anything from previous years you can watch my fall decor haul from last year including this garland that I'm using. It is from Michael's last year. The only new thing I'm using on the TV stand is the pick in the second cube, it's from Joann's this year.
And make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs>